My name is Michael Brown. I've been working with Eric Cantona for the last six years on this exhibition which we call From Moss Side to Marseille. I'm from Moss Side, Eric from Marseille. And this is our connection. This is the story of Carlos Caselli and, and his mother, especially with his mother, during the, uh, the coup in Chile with uh, Pinochet. It's fascinating story because it's very cruel, but it shows uh, the, the relationship of a footballer, a sportsman with his own mother. And you don't often see the relationship of a sportsman or a, a famous person with his mother in a work. And she was literally interrogated by Pinochet's army um, during the takeover, during the, uh, the American influence takeover of Chile. In this, this whole scene here is set up in the old town hall um, where Allende would govern from and, um, and uh, he was assassinated in the palace across the way. But well, basically we have on the left the images of the Chicago school, there were Chileans who were educated in America in Chicago under the influence of Milton Friedman and then the Kissinger and Nixon intervened. Uh, to influence Chile's economy in a negative way, to such a degree that the country was crumbling under its new socialist government at the time. So because of this, we had this scenario of uh, the military rising, all calculated by the US at the time to try and remove a communist country or socialist country from, its, from within its region. And therefore we have this image of Carlos Caselli with his mother, who was interrogated. I and mean, it's almost like a, a procession of prisoners are led into the room for interrogation while Pin Pinochet looks in the tray of wanted figures and figures who've gone missing under interrogation, etc. Because uh, many of them were uh, murdered in the football stadium as well in Chile, the national stadium. Or there was a caravan of torture up, going up and down the country looking for, you know, uh, socialists. So this story tells the situation in a broader image of the, uh, the, 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 the American government influences and ideologies and then the socialist ideology on the right with a Russian symbol of a statue, etc. And then we've got this liberty figure of, of a casting judgment uh, and escaping prosecution hanging over the heads of uh, the military. So that basically is the image of the painting. And at the front here, we've got this all seeing eye in the room that is a kind of bearing witness to these events. And uh, especially for the weakened people without a voice. And it all shows how. Um, these things unfold in, this, in the same room under the influence of powerful political figures. Eric Cantona knows Caselli very well and he's got, his, uh, got a superb history of famous figures who are politically active. And um, I knew very little about him, but Eric introduced me more to uh, about his life. And it's not known very much so outside of South America, but these things are all linked up in this exhibition with these characters, these figures. And, um, and basically the story needs to be echoed and repeated again and again to sort of bring emphasis to it publicly so that everybody gets an idea of what's been going on. Because, you know, you have these political events, but there's always sports people involved in it who are trapped by it or fighting against it because all, all the people in this exhibition, the painted figures, are uh, characters who have fought against these political changes and the sports figures as well. So um, it wasn't well known and Eric, you know, brought it more to my light and I'm bringing it more light giving it more light to the public. So Caselli was very brave to, you know, not ingratiate himself with Pinochet, especially during a, a national game where Chile just threw that game away because it's a World Cup game. It is disgraceful when Chile was in such a, a situation at the time pol politically. So when anyone says that politics and um, sports don't mix, they'll do mix because it shows it here. And in real life, of course.